Hello, hello. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. This is Fakadu from Youth and Education Support Service Ethiopia, or yes, Ethiopia. I'm currently based at the University of Nebraska Lincoln in the United States, uh, doing a PhD in leadership studies. And with this video, I would like to let you know that we are very happy to work with you, and we really appreciate all of you following us on social media, on LinkedIn, on YouTube, Facebook, all the social media platforms of Yes Ethiopia. I would like to make clear about what Yes Ethiopia is standing for. Now we are planning to grow to Yes Africa, Yes Global. So our major mission is youth and education support service. So how do we support the youth? The first thing that we do is part of the motivation why Yes Ethiopia was started is by helping young people to have the chance to get jobs and also to help them get chances to change their ideas into businesses, also to help them get chances to study within country or in other countries in a short uh, courses, masters or PhD programs. We also support young people through life skills and through their private life, uh, also help them to have chances to engage in uh, volunteer activities, free services, so that they serve their communities. Like our motto is that no one who is able to work and who is willing to work should spend a day idle. We should at least facilitate free service and volunteer opportunities. How can we work together? Thanks to technology, thanks to the people that made this internet technology, there are a lot of ways to work together. You don't need to be in Africa to support Africa. You don't need to be in the US to start to work with US institutions. We could work together from wherever we are and I'm recording this video to show you our willingness to work together. If you'd like to discuss with us, please join one of our online forums on LinkedIn, on Telegram, or you could also uh, send us comments on YouTube, on Facebook, also on TikTok. Nowadays, even we are on TikTok. Even if the amount of time we have on TikTok is not like uh, possible to make long, long videos, most of our videos are a long time because we focus on really educating people, taking the time to discuss ideas and guiding them through uh, questions, whatever they uh, would like to know about. So I am a teacher. I come from a higher education background in Ethiopia. I've been teaching. That's the career that I know the most. I've been engaged in research. I've been serving the community these days. What I have realized is that we are not using the best out of the internet technology. This amazing technology, this very good platform, which uh, can add a lot of value in what we do, have been abused, misused, and a lot of people get depressed or kind of like demotivated only because they are on social media, while they could get chances to serve the community, chances to discuss their career, their businesses, their, you know, motivations and do a lot of things together but we as you know there are a lot of competing interests there are a lot of political and toxic ideas out there and a lot of young people are not mature enough or they are not really able to comprehend all these traumatic and a lot of disturbing videos and messages coming through through their way but how can we tackle it we could sit and blame a lot of things but it doesn't help. Blaming others, blaming others for what they do doesn't help. The best way is to take actions. So we try to be like, we try to be change agents for the things we believe in. I'm a teacher. Always my high priority is career of the young people, career of students, career of our children, career of the future generation. So let's work together. We work at individual level. Institutional collaborations will follow. We also target missions that doesn't demand us to have a big funding or donor or the like. We give our time, our knowledge and our uh, network. Once we give our time and our knowledge, a lot of things can happen. We already see this happening. So uh, I apologize because a lot of our discussions are usually conducted in Amharic. This is because first we wanted to make impact in Ethiopia. But we can really occasionally come and discuss in English or we can you know, send to each other this kind of recorded messages and we can really work together. So especially those of you working in higher education institutions, especially 
those in Ethiopia, in Africa, please work with us. Also institutions in different parts of the world. As far as you are eager to work together, learn from each other, our door is really open and we are happy to collaborate. Yeah, I hope this gives you a little bit of idea what Yes Ethiopia, what Youth and Education Support Service is. Now it's going to be Yes Global and you can work with me and thank you so much. So how we can work together? First thing is join our LinkedIn virtual forums. Send us comments, suggestions, and questions. I know some people would come out with big ideas. Let's say I remember someone asked me, I want to improve the mindset of young people in Africa. Very nice. This is really very brilliant, amazing idea. But Africa is not just a village. Where do you want to start? How do you want to work? Do you want to work at elementary school level, high school level, university, or policy, non-profit, you know, development sector, businesses, you know, uh, even spiritual sectors? Where do you want to target? Are you targeting policy level, African Union, government institutions, or political systems? Where do you want to start? You know, it's best to start with a specific, a small idea that we can grow. But whatever ideas you have, let's just discuss. Me, for example, what I do, the way I do my uh, community engagement is like, I focus on answering questions for the young people. They ask me about, how can I come and study in the United States? I tell them based on my experience. So they'll ask me, what are the ways to go and study in Europe? I tell them the steps. Some of them, they ask, what is the ways to do a PhD in Ethiopia? I have been leading a PhD program in Ethiopia. I know some practical tips, some of, the things, some of the things that they cannot get from the website and the like, I tell them. For, us, for example, some of the young people don't have an idea about what official transcript is, you know, what it means to be a motivation letter, what's a recommendation letter, what's the research for a given field of study. Also, how can they work free services and improve their CV? And how can they be kind of like in a position where they can convince a scholarship interview or job interview, you know, to build their confidence, their communication skills, how they can use the social media. I show them LinkedIn, for example. A lot of young people have no idea about how to use LinkedIn. Even I've seen a journalist who didn't hear about LinkedIn, you know. This is very amazing profile. I mean, uh, social media is out of a lot of uh, professionals, but people don't know because LinkedIn is not like other places where you... You know, make a lot of uh, comedies and fun and the like, uh, photos and no. This is where you discuss your professional life and how you engage people professionally. So, but it helps for the young people, for a lot of young people to know about it. So, yeah, yeah, just let me know, please, write in the comment box. And let me know your comments, ideas and suggestions and let's work together. And gradually, even we are planning to grow this thing and become a very big uh, media that only serves the career of young people also help businesses, especially young businesses, to grow. We need, in Africa or all over the world, we need small businesses to grow. Young people need to know how to start their own businesses, and they should learn from the senior people. So, yeah, we have a lot of people on this platform. I really thank you all for following me, for all the comments and suggestions. And I cannot thank enough the University of Nebraska, Lincoln, especially the Department of Agricultural Leadership, Education and Communication uh, Department, I really learned a lot in short time, and this weekend I'm coming to Nashville, Tennessee, for the uh, Leadership uh, as, uh, Educators Conference, Association of Leader Leadership Educators. I'll be in Nashville, Tennessee, so please talk to me. I have a poster that I'm going to present about lessons learned from uh, Ruler uh, Fellowship, Ruler Fellows Program in Nebraska, and I'm really uh, looking forward and thank you very much and I wish you a lot of blessings.